Hey guys, and welcome back to Schneids 15. I kind of left off on a short note on uh, my last wind charger video, but uh, this time we're we're back and at her. Uh, I got another video coming up too of this truck that I bought here, but uh, for now we're on the wind charger subject. Uh, I was able to actually get a blade from a guy named Harvey, uh, a good friend of mine, an old uh, windmiller, and he gave me the blade and uh, he wanted to keep his, so I used it as a pattern, made a new blade, and it's not perfect, but it works pretty good. I stained it up, put the brass pieces on it, and uh, now I got the windmill tilted to the ground. I had my buddy Riley come over and he helped me tilt it onto the ground so I could work on it. Um, so now that it's down, we're gonna take the brushes that I got from a guy named uh, Windcharger Mike on Instagram, check him out. He's a great guy and he actually donated these parts to me because I told him I was making a YouTube video and stuff. And uh, he's into whatever pre-REA, which like the Rural Electrification Act, where they ran power all through uh, back in the day and it got rid of all these old cool inventions. This, however, is a later model but uh, it's the same principle of what was around before power and people had to do to uh, run stuff like this to get power at their house out on farms and stuff and I love it same with water that's why I like the water pumping windmills that they had to have that to pump their water unless they want to do it by hand so anyways let's stop rambling and let's get to show you what I got from Mike and what I got from Harvey so the chargers on the ground, there's the blade. Uh, they're normally stained a clear, but since I'm leaving the patina of this thing on it, the rust on it, I actually clear coated the whole thing, uh, minus these, but everything else is clear coated and I really liked the patina of it. So uh, it's got a nice shine to it. Anyways, we got wires run up the tower. Everything's good, but uh, the blade turned out super good. I ended up making it with my dad's sawmill, cutting it to size. And then I tapered the edges, cut them all out with a jigsaw. And then I did the rest with a uh, belt grinder or a belt sander and tapered everything in. It was a lot of work, but it turned out really good. There is some knots in this blade, but uh, I don't plan on using it for uh, making power really, unless it's spinning, I'm gonna let it make power. But otherwise I just, have it up more for decoration and preserving. I don't care if I charge batteries with it or not. So if I do ever find an original blade though, I will buy it and game on, but I couldn't find an original one. So I ended up with this. Anyways, we're ready to go. Uh, I got this disc here. There's two dimples on it that sit there. Mike actually sent me a uh, diagram of it. And then there's a turntable bearing that goes below here and it sits on top of here. Um, and then you have brushes that transmit your power from here and then from your brushes it goes over to here So this is what I got from Mike. It's an older style brush system I was told but he sent them to me in the mail. I had this so he sent me the brushes and the insulator and uh, Everything I needed for that so you got these bolt together like this they're offset so one goes on the positive bus and one on the negative and uh, then you attach your wires from here to those and this can spin freely then in circles and the wires don't get tangled up so that's the whole point of that anyways let's get to throwing them on um but before then i'm going to show you uh what i used i forget the part number for it but these are uh i got this idea off a of vintage windmill forum and uh it's basically it's a, a thrust washer out of a uh, transmission so that the stack height is good for what I need because you have to have a proper stack height to have the windmill up so that thing of brushes will fit and line up correctly. Anyways, uh, they come and the inside diameter is a little bit tight. So what I did, give me an excuse to buy this thing. I love these little Milwaukee things. This and this are my best investments. Anyways, I took the Dremel and just hollowed out the middle a little bit and made it so this will slide over. So anyways, let's get to putting this thing together and getting it up. All right guys, so we got the bearings on here. So you can see our buses here for our positive and our negative. They run out here, they're insulated for your positive and for your negative. Um, it sits in there, there's a bit of slop in there now so not everything's perfect. Um, when you slide it up here, there's a wire that you bring through. This is, it could have been different, it could have been a chain from factory, I don't know but I have a wire on it that applies your brake. Uh, 
So now with these pieces, I just took the die grinder and just gave those a little bit of a sand to clean them up. But uh, I'm not going to be able to show you both, but this slides over top of here. We had another one and they make contact with that bus there and the other one does too. You bolt them together and uh, just two bolts here that clamp and they snug against these nubs here and then uh, it's ready to go up. All right, so we're all assembled here. I had a minor brain fart there. I was trying to think that stuff was backwards. Anyways, it's, it's nothing's backwards. It's all good. So we got power that comes in from here, goes here to our brush, and then we'll come out our negative and come out our positive. They're backwards right now because it spins obviously, but the brushes transmit the power through and then it goes down and I can put a battery on the bottom. It goes to this panel that I just have zip tied here for now that has a diode in it so it can't back feed. We'll show you how many amps you're putting out and then you run wires to your battery from there. So anyways, uh, we're done and uh, ready to uh, stand this thing back up. All right, we're back up. I just got to put my rocks on top of my two by fours here. So this has weight because I don't have it anchored to the ground at all. It's kind of hard in this terrain here. It's just all rock and dirt. So uh, it's kind of a pain unless I would pour a pad, which I'm not gonna because it's not gonna be staying here. Anyway, so I just put these large rocks on and it ain't gonna flip over. Uh, so we got our wire here to pull the brake on and I'll show you up top. So there we are, finished product. She spins beautiful with that new turntable. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's ready to go. All right guys, so that's enough for tonight. We're gonna wait until a windy day. I'll wire up this panel in the meantime and show you guys. It's not real exciting. Just gotta attach a couple wires, but I'll show you what it's done. And uh, we'll get a battery hooked up. And uh, yeah, we'll come back to you guys when it's a windy day and I'll film a shot of it and we'll see how it's charging and uh, go from there. But otherwise, thank you very much, uh, Harvey, and thank you, uh, Wind Charger Mike, for all the help. Wouldn't have been able to get here without either of you guys because this thing really doesn't work that well with a blade and without those brushes, I couldn't get the power to the ground. So that really helped me and thank you for all of the time that anybody has uh, put in giving me answers on questions online on forums and stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks again and see you next time. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.